I'll make you feel uneasy, and if you want to get up and go, that'll be fine too. Yeah, it's, it's a little, so if you have PTSD, it causes a trigger, please you go ahead and step outside. I, I totally understand, okay?
Lights, please. That's what I deal with every day. And that's what this guy right here, he's no service officer from Brinkton. That's what we deal with. We need your guys' help. There's a line in the Soldier's Creed, we will never leave a fallen comrade behind. Right there. We have them out in the street. So please, what I'm about to teach you, use it. You run to another veteran needs help, use it. Share it with them. Okay? show you guys how to maneuver the VA. There's tricks to the trade. There's wordings, doctor's opinions, buddy letters, okay? I had a, soldier, a veteran come to my office the other day. Um, he said, I owe you a dinner and a steak. I'm like, you don't owe me nothing. He goes, yeah, I get, he said, you got me from a 10% to 50% in three months by following this. There's nothing guaranteed though. Okay, I can tell you straight out, but I've had great success with this. Also, everybody knows how fast does the VA move? Slow. And Slow like a turtle in ice, con ice cold pond water. And reverse. You might hear that again. A turtle in ice cold pond water. Everybody know what that means, right? It's a test answer. All right. <laughs> there you go, okay? All right. Remember I talked about the Soldier's Creed? Guess who created the Soldier's Creed? Army. Who? Uh -huh. Okay, there we go, there we go, we'll get people motivated, all right. Another social street, as long as you follow a couple of those lines, you're gonna be okay. One of the lines is, I will never accept defeat. So if the VA denies your claim, do not give up. File an appeal, continue finding more evidence. And everything's be okay, all right? The next one, I will never, I will never quit. Don't quit till the fat lady sings. When that judge says you're done, you're done. Okay, so don't quit. Another one in there, I will never leave a fallen comrade. Remember I said, do not leave somebody behind. If you see somebody in those same situations, ask them what's going on. We got Sharon there, I can help with service dogs, I can help. We have all the, we have about 100 different agencies that help with various different things. But if you don't call us, we don't know, okay? Next slide. All right, veterans helping veterans. If you are on active duty, the reserves or National Guard and visit a doctor, hospital, health clinic or any other medical facility for any reason, this could mean thousands of dollars for you. Okay? Next slide. Right there is all my points of contact for all the county service officers in the state of Florida. Think of as your, your post service officer as the paralegal, help the veteran collect the evidence they need, make sure all the dots are dotted, T's across, and then we send them to the county service officer. Think of them as your attorney. They look at the packet, make sure it's done. The more eyes that look at that packet before it goes up, the better your chances are. Okay? Yeah. I have a really good relationship with my VSOs, but the, the thing that I go by that cliche is the, sque the squeaky will. We'll get grease. So I'm gonna call them nonstop till they ask the damn phone. They say, oh, we get a 72 hour turnover. My VS knows that I'm gonna keep calling till they, I, they actually t call me within 24 hours. And that's over in Manatee County. Okay, next slide. Yep. Thank God I have a daughter. She helped me with this stuff. I'll be lost. <laughs> All right, why does need to help veterans? Multiple extended deployments. I had a veteran come in office that was deployed seven times. Door slammed, he freaked out, he wanted the table, he was so lost, fused, okay? We have, so please, we need to calm down, use the buddy system. I, the biggest thing that veterans want is somebody to talk to. <coughs> somebody to talk to. Sharon, you okay? All right. They're here in Orange County, um, with Lake Nona. There's a lot of us lady vets that are getting together and going with each other to the appointments because of stuff that's going on at Lake Nona that I'm not really allowed to say right now because I got insider info. Mm -hmm. 
but a lot of us are getting together and I recommend that for not just here at Lake Nona, but at any VA, we all need to start partnering up, up with each other. One, because when you're going with somebody else, you've got a witness. Mm -hmm. And the one thing, have you ever met Elaine Westermeyer? She's with the VBA at Bay Pines. I might. Elaine taught me years ago, she says, Elizabeth, anytime you can go, or you have to go take somebody with you. Witness. Because she says, one thing VA does not want is a independent witness to what's going on take someone with you she says when you take someone with you you will notice a night and day change mm -hmm. and how you're treated and i found, and i thought she was full of baloney and i know her and i'm friends with her but i'm like for, nah forget it and i started getting hosed and i took somebody in with me and i didn't tell that the person with me was a federal judge they just knew that it was a friend when we walked out of there and she never said a, she never said a word the whole time when we walked out she says what's the problem Right. She goes, they're, they're giving you everything you want. I go, no, they're not. She goes, I said, they just did today. And she says, well, maybe that's because I was there. And she says, so from here, she goes, from now on, you take somebody with you. There you go. And they didn't, like I said, they didn't know she was a federal judge. Right. Okay. I, I got to keep going. Okay. I got, I'm going to get a lot more slides. Okay. <laughs> See that bold print between active duty and veterans? There are 22 veterans a day. Bold print, underlying, tapping. You might say it again. Okay, now rumor has it, a good reliable source of mine, that number has gone up 30% since the COVID started. Okay, they will never come out and say it for sure, but a good reliable source of mine told me that. Next slide. Basic eligibility. Now, there's a difference between enrolling in the VA and putting in a disability claim. Two different creatures, okay? Basic eligibility. Now this is to enroll in the VA. Any person who served in active duty who was discharged, released under conditions other than dishonorable, may qualify for VA benefits. Okay? Active duty. So National Guard and Reserves, as long as they got called up for active duty, it's on their DB form 214, they can get in. If they weren't called active duty, I'm sorry. I'm just a messenger, so don't shoot me. Okay? Next slide. Enrollment. You can go to any VA facility and enroll in the VA. Okay, now I hear this from me all the time. People tell me, well, I was denied because I make too much money. All right, I want to tell you a way around that. In this state or each state is different. It's supposed to be the same nation, national, but it's not. In the state of Florida, if household income is over $43,000, you do not qualify. Unless you have a disability. That's the way around that loop, okay? Any VA healthcare facility, you may see that again. Next slide. Important documents. What is the most important document you must have? Man, I got a good class here, they know. Now how many wives in here know where their husband's DD form 214's at right now? <laughs> okay, make sure, please, that somebody in your family knows where that is. Because if you die, they got to have that DD Form 214. Okay? Most important document, DD Form 214. Now, to get a disability, highly recommended to order your military medical records. Highly recommended it. How you do it? You go on the archive center right there. Between 10 and 3. You go any other time, they're going to say they're closed. 10 and 3. And when you fill out the SF-180, which is the application for it, and then note column, make down, this is an emergency. If you don't write down an emergency, it's going to be sitting there forever. They went from 500 staff down to 50 with this COVID. So I'm telling you a little trick. Write down, this is an emergency on the comment section. Right, the SF-180. I talked to uh, the Nassau uh, personnel last week and they made that comment to me. The individual has to be in critical care at the time of the request or being buried. Right. Because of skeleton crew. Okay. So, emergency. 
Order your military medical records before you put in for disability claims. Please, you gotta have proof of what happened in the past and now. Next slide. Now, there's four tips. Four tips of maneuvering a VA claim. You have to complete three out of the four tips to really make a difference. The first one, have evidence of medical condition that either started while you were in the military or a pre-existing condition that was aggravated by your stint in the military. You gotta have proof that something happened in the past is going on now. For example, if you had high blood pressure in the military and you have a heart attack now, there might be a connection there. You take a connection that happened in the past to your doctor and say, Doc, this is what happened in the past, this is what's going on, is it connected? Maybe. Ask for a doctor's opinion. Okay? So that's tip number one. Also, when you collect all your evidence, put it all in a folder, oldest to newest. Just the evidence that you need to send. So if your medical records are that big, don't send all your medical records. Send what pertains to that claim. You want to make it so simple that a baby can follow it. Or a Marine. Okay? It's all love, okay? It's all love, so don't kill a messenger. Next slide. Now, how many people in here have know how to operate a computer? Raise your hand. How many people in here have kids from the age of, say, 20 to 40? Raise your hand. How many people in here have grandkids from the age of 5 to 17? Raise your hand. Use them. They can find anything in the internet for you. Anything. Okay? This right here, 38 CFR C schedule rating of disabilities. Guess what? You can look up your own disability rating. But it's very tricky. That's why I said use the kids. They can help you track it down, okay? Myself, I'm 100% disabled. I got a disabled pacemaker. I can go in there. Go to cardiovascular, all the way down to feel better pacemaker, 100%. That gives you a good idea of what you're at and what evidence you need for your claim. It's not easy to maneuver though, okay? Number three, think of your disability claim as a cake. We're building a cake. First layer was that medical records. The second layer is your doctor's opinion which I call the icing on the cake. The cake ain't no good without icing, right? Except it's pound cake. So you gotta have the icing on the cake. Get a letter from your doctor saying your present condition is more likely not recommended to the issue you had in the military, or 51% chance. If a doctor writes down it is possible, it ain't gonna fly. That might be a 5%, 6%, 8%, has to sound more than 51% chance. That is icing on the cake. Right there. It's called a nexus. That's it. Okay? Number four. Get letters from your family, friends, stating how it is living with you in the present condition. Now, let's say you're putting it for a disability for hearing. What? Everybody, everybody hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh? There you go. All right. This is so important because, let's say, your wife is always yelling at you because the TV is too loud or having to repeat herself. That is important. The VA will say, we do not take buddy letters. However, the judge does. Okay? So if you fight this thing all the way, and the third denial, you say you want to go in front of a judge, and you have the doctor's opinion, and you have buddy letters, pretty good chance you're going to win. And what this comes to play at is say if your doctor is doing the physical for your disability, has 15 minutes to make a decision. So where this comes to play at, the judge knows that doctor made a decision in 15 minutes. Here's a family member that lives with that person every day. That evens your odds. Have they changed that? Because I know when 2007 when I filed, they actually said that they gave more weight to the buddy letter from my mom than they did the actual <coughs> medical evidence. Right, that's why I said even. So I mean, so is, has it changed? Because you're saying they really don't give and mine didn't go all the way up. I was, a, I was approved right off the bat. What it, what it does, okay, you're showing the VA you're, you're willing to fight this thing all the way. Okay. Okay? The VA will come back and say, we don't accept them. What they're doing is they're challenging you. They're saying, they're betting that you won't file an appeal. Okay. Okay? So, tip number one, three, and four. If you can complete those tips, you have a claim. Straight up, you got a claim. If you can't complete those, 
try anyways. Okay? The only one that's gonna get denied is if you don't try. But this is what you gotta do to win. Next slide. Service connected disability. Tax free. It's tax free. Every veteran should be trying to get disability. Every veteran. I don't care if it's hearing, PTSD, something. Now I got a veteran saying, well, I don't want to take away from my buddy. You are taking away from your buddy. And they're like, how? The more people we have enrolled in the VA and the more people that are getting care, the more doctors they got to hire. The more hospitals they got to build. So if you're not one of those, you are taking away from your buddies. Okay? The more money Congress has got to give up. Thank you. Thank you. So right there, service-connected disability compensation is tax-free. You might hear that again. Next slide. All right. This is the 2021 VA disability compensation pay chart. I get veterans all the time saying, I don't think I'm getting paid right. So I find out what they are, boom, I can take a look at it. Now, when I hear a veteran tell me that they have a 55% disability, I'm going to say, no, you don't. There's no fives. It's all by tens, either 50 or 60, but no fives. And sometimes 10 and 10 does not make 20. <laughs> yeah. With tinnitus and hearing loss, it's just 10. The VA did not go the same schools we went to. <laughs> okay? I got the chart. I don't care. Einstein can't figure out how the VA did that math. Okay? I got the chart that showed me how to do it. They got more pieces in that line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay? So it gives you a good idea what to shoot for. It's tax free. So I'm going to give you an example 10% disability, $144 a month, tax free. Not only that, you get property tax exemptions now. Hello, $144 a month, that's a good car payment, or help a car payment, plus property tax exemptions. Yes, sir? Would it be possible to move the flag over to the left just a little bit? Sure. The middle of where I'm trying to read. Sure. No disrespect. Thank you, thank you. Which is good? That's good. All right, I wish you would have told me earlier. So if you get this, uh -huh. if you have this already, you're disabled, disabled but then you get married, you should go do it again? No, or you just go in there and you tell them you just got married, and show a copy of the uh, marriage certificate, and you'll get an increase. And as you see, okay, 10%, 20%, it doesn't matter if you're married or not. 30% on. Now, the difference, say 30%, if it's just a veteran, $441 a month. If you're married, $493, tax free. And you have to submit the appropriate form. Right. Marriage certificate. Okay? So as you see, that's pretty, pretty good hunk of money, tax free. And you serve. Next slide. All right, thirty percent or more. It's travel and additional pay for your family. All right. Next slide. Post traumatic stress disorder. Does anybody in here know what that is? Yes. yes. Okay. So everybody's good. All right. Now. Ladies, do me a favor. If you ask your husband to do something and he forgets, please do not yell at him. He might have memory loss due to PTSD. I heard that. I heard that. Okay? So, this is for 50%. Memory loss, names, occupational, social impairment, difficulty establishing and maintaining a uh, social relationship, anxiety, chronic sleep impairment, depressed mode, memory loss. Now, I have a lot of veterans that are afraid to go get help because they're afraid of losing their guns. Ladies and gentlemen, you will not lose your guns if you go ask for help. As long as you're taking your medications, going to your appointments, doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're okay. As long as you don't put that red flag up saying I'm suicidal and things like that. As long as you're doing the right thing, you're okay. All right? Now, go back, go back. Suicide Prevention Hotline number. Everybody got that little card, right? Please put that in your wallet. If you run into somebody that needs help, please hand it to them and say, here, call the hotline number. Or you can call Tony Williams. <laughs> Veterans Counseling Veterans right here. Another one of my tools in the toolbox. So I got Tony here and I got Sharon here. Those are my tools and I got Ed over here. I forgot about Ed. Okay, so I got tools in my toolbox. Let's use them. Okay? 
Next slide. Agent Orange. Oh, boy. How many Vietnam guys I got in here? Raise your hand. Thank you and welcome home. I walk around one Walmart or stores. I see somebody in Vietnam. Go up there, shake their hand, say thank you and welcome home. You guys did not get the treatment coming home like you should have. And I apologize about that. Now, everybody asked me. I had a guy the other day say, you want to put it for Agent Orange? You can't put it for Agent Orange. Agent Orange is a chemical that caused the medical conditions. You got to have a medical condition to put it in for it. All right? There is 13 symptoms of Agent Orange. Now there's 16. But one of them is a copy of it. No. <laughs> okay? So you got cancers, leukemia, diabetes, Hodgkin's disease, acidic heart disease. The most common one is diabetes. Gentlemen, if you're a Vietnam veteran and you have these symptoms, please go file. Please. Wives, drag your husband by the ear. Come on. All right, next slide. That's the rest of the symptoms right there, rage and orange. Bladder cancer, hypothyroidism, Parkinson's-like symptoms are the new ones. How many blue water people I got in here? Does everybody know what blue water is? Mm -hmm. Maybe that. Yeah. Okay, blue water is the, the, the Navy guys who were out up to 40 miles in Vietnam. They finally passed it to where those guys can now put it for age orange. Longest time the VA was saying, well, you didn't have boots on the ground. Well, guess what? With materials, equipment was going from ship to ship. They finally passed it. So please, if you have the symptoms, put in. If you know a veteran, tell them. Drag them, drag them down there. I don't care what you gotta do. Get them help. What about the vets that were on a certain bases that had the chemical? I'm gonna go there. Yeah. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. Okay? Next slide. Now, there's 250 stateside bases that Agent Orange was sprayed before it even went to Vietnam. Okay? Those are the ones just in Florida. My hometown, Avon Park, was one of them. Avon Park Air Force Base. I got that list. So if a veteran was in one of those 250 places and they got the symptoms, that was published by the VA itself. But guess what? They were boots on the ground there. How can we get that list? You can ask me for it and I can get it to you. Yeah. <laughs> or, or right there. Use that's Department of Veterans Affairs, herbicide test, and storage in the U.S. You can Google it. It's right there. That's Florida, just. No, the very top. U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, herbicide test, and storage in the U.S. Click that on Google, and all 250 oh, of them will come up. List comes up. The whole list comes up. Tell me when you're done, okay? Yes, sir. By the way, if you want, I can email you this slideshow. Yes. Cool. It might be on the writer's website too, but if not, you got my card, call and ask for it, I can email it to you, okay? All right. Ready? You good? Everybody's good, right? All right, next slide. Death benefits. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, ma'am. Going back to Agent Orange. Yeah, go back. Just a question. Um, my sister's husband passed away, it's 10 years. Mm -hmm. Best bet. I didn't know if there was a 
time limit. That's what I was asking. The point of death benefits is no time limit. The sooner the better. But there is no time limit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Death benefits. All right, we're all going to die. Please make sure you know where your loved one's D.214 is. Okay? Now, there's several different things about death benefits. The first one is the VA will provide normal service for just a veteran. Just as a veteran. If you die due to a service-connected disability, you're going to get more. And on down the line. Okay? But you got to have proof of cause of death. Okay? VA National Cemeteries, headstone markers, prison certificates, burial flag, reimbursement expenses, burial allowance, plot allowance, and military funeral honors. Every veteran gets this up to a certain point, and then it goes due to disabilities. Must have a DD Form 214 and a copy of the death certificate, the long version. The long version says how the veteran passed away. Do not, I repeat, do not jump on a cremation without a cause of death. Because once it's gone, it's gone, cremated, you have no evidence of proof of death. I had a widow come in, I gave a class, just death benefits. She was in another room playing euchre. Three days later, she comes up to me and she goes, I need help. I said, okay, how do you die? Um, I cremated her. She lost out, she lost out at $1,200 a month. And you have to make a cause of death on a death certificate. Anytime you're my daughter, has to be a cause of death. Yes, but you want to make sure. You want to make sure that it's due to the service connection to disability. I'm going to give you an example. See if you die in a car accident, but you had a heart attack during a car accident. Okay? Is that right? Just car accident, but he had a heart attack? The heart attack that precipitated the car accident. Right. Okay. You got to make sure that it's due to service connected disability. If there's any chance of that at all, you want that in the. Okay? It can cost you a lot of money in the long run. Yes, ma'am. Um, you yourself can go to any of the national cemeteries. Mm -hmm. If you know where you want to be, mm -hmm. take your DD-214, and your family members don't have to mess with it. There you go. Kind of make you guys hear that? No. Can, can you go ahead and stand up and say it out loud? Take your DD-214 to wherever you want to be. If you know you want to be in Bushnell, or you know you want to be in Sarasota, take your DD-214 in there and tell them that. They will register you so that when you do go, your family members don't have to screw around with that. It's all set up. Okay. And then you can also it? fill in the intent you, the mm -hmm. pre eligibility for it too. Right. That's why you have the same you want to 14. Yeah. And the, the funeral home directors most will know what to do once you pass. Yeah. Okay. Next slide. All right. Can I use this blue book real quick? This book right here. Good book. <laughs> this is, I call the State Bible. No disrespect. This is right here tells you everything about property tax exemptions, state park exemptions, license plates, all kinds of goody things, but each veteran is different. Just a veteran, disabled veteran, 100% disabled veteran. So you have to sit down and read it. Guys, please take the other magazines out of the bathrooms and put these books in there for a while. Okay? <laughs> all right? So you study it. Ladies, please study it. It can save you thousands of dollars. I'm going to give you an example. Save a veteran disabled from 10% to 90%. Gets $5,000 off the property tax. If they're over the age of 65 and it was due to combat, they'll go by whatever the disability rating is. So if you're 50%, they'll get 50% off the property tax. If you're 100% permit total, you don't pay no property tax at all. I ran into a veteran a couple weeks ago that was awarded 100% five years ago. Didn't know about that. Took him down to the property appraiser's office. He got that money back. For real? For real. But you have to be careful because Homestead, mm -hmm. I did the paperwork. They didn't file it. 12 years later, oh, we only go back three years. If I had to pay, hadn't been paying it, mm -hmm. they'd have gone back and taken it from right. me the whole so 12. Make, but they will only reimburse me for right. three years. So I'm going to tell you about this. The only one that's gonna take care of you is you yourself, right? So when you submit something, please, please check on it, follow up on it, make sure it was turned in, make sure it was all typed in and stuff. In her case, if she should have gone back in there a couple months later, say, hey, did it get put in, okay? All right, 
So remember, the only ones that take care of you is yourself. Don't count on the VA to take care of you. Don't count on you. You're not. I'm, I'm a, a widow of a Vietnam veteran. Um, I found out when I was filing my claim for my late husband, every time you call the VA, they must give you their name and they must give you their ID number. Right. I don't care if you call 20 times a day, you write that down because it's so easy for them not to put something in the computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, copies, copies, copies. When you submit a claim, make sure that you make copies. The VA loves to lose paperwork. Loves it. It's like they got a shredder. Oh. Okay, so please, copies, copies, copies. So that way if they come back and we didn't get that. Okay, I got another one here for you. I had that I had that happen with mine on my NOD for my respiratory. They turned it down. They're like, oh you didn't get it in on time. And I called Elaine, I told Elaine about it, because Elaine was the one that submitted it for me. Elaine walked up to the radar, and, and y'all heard the same thing. Well, Elizabeth didn't submit it all the time. She goes, actually, she did. I have, she said, I have a copy because I wrote it out. I had her sign it, put her claim in, and give it to her. Mm -hmm. Two months later, I got approved. Okay. So, please, you may see this one again. Where can you get property tax? Find out information about property tax exemption. The blue book. <laughs> FDBA State Benefits, State, Benefits State, Guide. State Benefits Guide, okay? You may hear that again. Next slide. <laughs> Veterans Preference. 10%. All right. I don't know why veterans ain't got jobs. I really don't. Because guess what? Veterans get priority for county, state, and federal jobs. I had a veteran come to my office uh, about a year ago. He said he's been looking for months for a job. I'm like, wait a minute, Burger King right down the road is hiring. So how can you be looking for months? I said, okay, I got something for you. I took them down to the Hartman workforce, helped the veterans find jobs. Within two days, we got him a county job driving a garbage truck, 20 bucks an hour. Wow. Veterans preference, okay? Now, veterans preference started since the time of the Civil War. You may see that again, all right? So if you got a veteran that says, I've been looking forever for a job, come on, come on. Okay, take them down to any career source to help them almost like that. But they gotta be willing to help themselves. Now, question, can a veteran work with 100% disability? Yes, yes. Okay. As long as that's not IU, well even if it's IU, you can't, but you can only make up to a certain dollar. Right? right, exactly. So a veteran can still work if they get 100%. As long as they don't get unemployable. And they can, up to $16,000. But it's putting a red flag up. You don't want no red flags. Up to 16, they told us 11. Okay, it may have changed. It's got a cola, man. Yeah, cola. All right. Ladies, how many ladies in here like to shop? Raise your hand. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> like to come on, I should have a few more hands up. Don't be lying. Don't be. Come on. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I need you to do me a favor. For one month, everywhere you go, ask if they take military veterans discounts. Then you take that list, make a master list at, after that month, then you share it with everybody that joins your post. Share it. Because not only are you helping the community, you're helping the veterans. Me and my wife, we saved $8,000 last year by knowing where to shop. And right now with the COVID, with everybody losing their jobs and the PTSD, if we can save a dollar for a veteran, that might be that one thing that saves their life. Okay, so ladies, please, one month, make that list and share it with people. Hey, can't you also Guys, you can do it too, okay? I don't want to be discreet. Can't you all go to APs and PX, like at the McDill's? Uh, they changed that as well last year, right? Yep. Where yep. You, and go online. Yep. Right. So, now, there's a few websites up there. Ladies, how much does it cost for a 14-day cruise? Oh, Tony, don't answer this one, Tony. I know you know it. 14 day cruise for family four, how much it cost? Give me a ballpark. 700. 8,000. <laughs> family of four for 14 day cruise. Six grand. At least 5,000. Tony, what's the answer? Well, it depends on discounts, so it's going to be at least 5,000. Okay, now, now. Military.com. Okay, 
please go on to military.com. It can tell you everything that's going on with the armed forces. So you click on the army, see what's going on there, Navy, Air Force, even the Marines. You can look on there. I haven't seen a whole lot about Space Force yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Space Force. Well, they just now, they also have everything that's going on with the VA on there too. Also, they have discounts on there all the time. I found, it's been about two years now, a 14 day cruise for family four for 1200 bucks. Wow. It's not very often you see something like that. And right now with COVID, you're not gonna find it, okay? But, <laughs> but that's a great website to find out information on what's going on. Vet ticks. How many people are, know about vet ticks? Use it. Use it. What that is, and help me out, Tony. What it is, is people have to donate so many tickets to events. It's kind of like a tax write-off, okay? Those tickets go to vet ticks. You join on vet ticks, it's free. You find an event you like, NASCAR, NCAA, basketball, baseball, everything. Hockey. Hockey, I can take my wife to the opera. The Super Bowl. Uh, now we're gonna down there, okay? Anyways, you go on there, you find an event you like, you bid on it, the tokens that they give you for free, they draw your name, they ask you, do you wanna go, and they send you tickets. I took my wife to the opera, it didn't cost me but $3. Okay? So it gives you something to do, and something to get out of the house, and save a little bit of money. Even on Vet Sixers also, if you scroll to the bottom of it, they're associated with the company that if they don't have tickets that you can get for free, then through this company on Vet Ticks, there is one where you can get a discount as well. Right, right. Operation Outdoor Freedom. Any veteran in the state of Florida that is 30% disabled or more, they take veterans to hunt and fishing for free. Okay, it's another little state book that I gave you. The information about that is in there. Yeah. So, so it's like a, a hero. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, good thing about that is a lot of these veterans have PTSD. Going out hunting and fishing is a therapy. Mm -hmm. Gets them out of the house. Give them something to do. Have you heard about Soldiers Freedom Outdoors? Yep. They're up in um, Gainesville, Ocala. The, the only cost it is for you is your transportation there and back. I went, and I'll tell you, I'm going to be going back every year now. They are freaking fantastic and the food is phenomenal and there's hunting fishing boating kayaking swimming trails horseback riding so guys go there okay. it's awesome